Hi, I am Mary Ufe, and right here, right now, I have condensed all my life to the knowledge, and if you follow to the end of this merely two-hour tutorial, you will get something like this. I feel like I'm giving away too many industry secrets, bro. I feel like I'm giving back to the community, I'm contributing to society, and all I ask is for you to remember my name, Mary Ufe. <laughs> For this tutorial, you can rig your own model, and if you don't have one, you can download this exact model to follow along. This is a character I designed based on my, my hamster poo poo. The PSD is free, and the rigged Live 2D file, which is called a CMO3 file, is $10, all in my code file link below. Please use them for educational purposes only. I better not see a color change poo poo streaming a donut thorn. So, download the Live 2D program at their official site called Live 2D Cubism. And for this tutorial, I'm using the pro version, which you can get a 42 days free trial for. And if you decide to buy the license, they offer a really good student discount, which is around 60 USD for three years. Saved my life. And if you run into any problems following my tutorial, you can seek help in my Discord server. Or if it's not specific to my tutorial, the Live2D community Discord is also really helpful. And last, I speed up segments where I felt bored, so rewind or change the video speed as much as you need. And that's all you need to know. Let's begin. Okay, first, preparing the PSD. When separating layers, you basically just want to separate whatever that needs to move on its own. A lot of it will be personal preference, but some places that I recommend separating is the face line, the face shadow, and the blush from the face base until your face base is one plain color. And for the eyes, you know, separate this corner, under, under eyelids, upper eyelids, eyelashes, iris. You get it. Just look through my PSD to copy how I separate and organize things. For this model, my separation is rather minimal. My naming is not the best because I'm lazy and I don't bother naming my parts left and right if they're an exact mirror because I can just copy and paste and flip it later. Also, if you do miss anything, you can always import new layers as PSDs into your working Life 2D file, so if you realize you didn't separate something, it's an easy enough fix. Next, we're going to go to Live 2D. 